So I'm going to be starting off with my Laura Mercier Radiant Skin Foundation Primer. It is beautiful. Look at that swatch. It literally makes your skin look so glowy as well as helps to keep your makeup on all day long. Um, so basically I like to apply this um, more heavily on the high points of my face so like my cheekbones and also the bridge of my nose I like to apply it there the most just to give me like that really nice glowy look um, this also works really well under my foundation because it takes away some of that like matte finish and it makes my foundation look less cakey so then I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline fit me foundation uh, this is the matte I think it's matte and poreless one. All the information for the makeup will be down below. And I'm just going to be blending that in with my beauty blender. And yeah, then right here I kind of freak out a little bit because I'm like, oh my god, I got it all over my lips. But it's okay because <laughs> I tried to get it off, but it didn't really work. Um, so I'm just blending, blending, blending all that in. And then I'm just taking my concealer. This is the Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm so I'm going to be putting this in a triangle in my under eyes just to cover up any darkness that I have. As well as on the bridge of my nose. A little bit on my forehead. A little bit on my cupid's bow. And a little bit on my chin. So then taking the other side of the Beauty Blender. We're once again going to blend, blend, blend. And make sure that it's all blended nicely into my face. And I love this concealer. It is Fabulous. I know everyone on YouTube has been talking about it lately, which is really funny, but it's actually really good. So now I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild blush. It's one of the color icon blushes. Um, the name will be down below, and I'm just going to be taking this on my finger and using it as kind of an all-over lid color for my eyes just to add some brightness and also some color to my face. Now, this is my favorite thing. I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild contouring palette and this highlighting shade fits my skin perfectly and it makes my face look like flawless but in a, the least cakiest way ever like it is fantastic so i'm going to be setting my skin with this basically wherever i put the concealer and then with the other side i'm going to be contouring my cheekbones which is great and then i'm going to be putting it as well on my forehead so as you can see i've applied a bunch of makeup and you can still see the foundation primer which i think is fantastic so now I'm applying the Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm just going to be applying a couple coats of that and, of course, messing up a little bit. But it's okay because we'll clean it up afterwards. And yes, this is all I'm going to be doing for the eyes because I really appreciate how it looks. Just a little simple, glowy look. Then I'm going to be taking this lip liner by Essence. I'm pretty sure I got it at Ulta. I'm just going to be lining my lips with it and then filling it in as well. And then afterwards, I'm going to be taking one of the Satin Finish NYX um, lip colors and it's in the color desert it is so beautiful so beautiful and with um, this lip liner underneath it made it more of a you know less nudie color more of a pinky shade which I still think is super super pretty but I couldn't find my other lip liner so you know I gotta do what I gotta do and then finally my favorite step is the highlight um, I'm just gonna be using an elf concealer brush which honestly look how awesome that works my highlight looks fantastic and I'm using max soft and gentle which is a classic so I basically just highlighted the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose look at that fantastic so that is it for this look if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time bye